Tom, it's the second Ayrshire Derby of the season. How much are you looking forward to this one? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Enjoyed the first one. Um, I suppose that's easy to say when, when you win. Um, night game. We'll have at least 3,000 fans going along. Uh, it's going to be a cracking atmosphere. And uh, we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, they'll make it difficult for us. But, um, you know, after a good win on Saturday, we'll get into it uh, with a fair degree of confidence. Yeah, results meant the momentum's with us and we managed to, to move up. Um, just a case of, of really trying to build on that in this game. Yeah, we've got, we've got three games, you know, we knew with three games in a short space of time. Uh, we've got over the first one, you know, got the three points. Um, and we've just got to build on that, try and get a wee run going again of wins. And, um, you know, uh, the added spice is obviously it's a, it's a massive derby game. You've always stressed the importance of the squad. Is it weeks like this where that becomes even more critical? In the, uh, all the yeah, it, it, it is. I mean, the, the, the good thing is with, you know, everybody fit bar, bar Stokesy, you know, it gives me options to change things around a little bit if I feel I need it. And particularly with three games in a short space of time, you know, we can use the squad if I feel it's necessary. So, yeah, um, I say with no fresh injury concerns, so I've got a full squad to pick from. Is the Derby's, is there more of a mix of the tactical and emotional discipline needed, or, or is that something that, that isn't really true? I, I mean, I think, you know, um, the atmosphere, you know, obviously, I think will motivate the players even more. The fact that it's, you know, it is a Derby game as well. And uh, a derby game that hasn't been played, you know, even though we're going to get four this year, hasn't been played that often in recent years. So th- there is that added space. But, you know, in terms of motivation, the players should always be motivated to go out and get the three points and, and, and do well. Um, I think in a derby game, there can be probably a few, you know, tasty tackles going in and there's a bit more aggression in, in, in terms of how they're approached. And you've got to be disciplined. You've got to make sure that um, you don't get involved in anything silly that means that you're going down to ten men. So um, it's controlled, um, you know, controlled aggression that we, we need from the team. And keeping those cool heads when it comes to decision yeah. making when on the ball as well, I suppose. Yeah. I mean that that that's something that you know we haven't probably done well in the last few weeks in terms of our decision making on the ball, our, our execution of you know um, some of our passing, um, you know. But uh, that can change very quickly, uh, you know, little mistakes, uh, you know, probably meant that we haven't looked as fluent and been as fluent as I would have liked. But, you know, as the players showed Saturday, their attitude is outstanding, their character, you know, can't be into question. It was a difficult game Saturday. We made it difficult for ourselves, um, you know, and, and, and we found a way to go and win the game, which is the most important thing at the end of the day. We touched on those 3,000 kilograms <coughs> that will be at Somerset tomorrow night. Does that just give another reason to keep going and, and keeping that kind of attitude and discipline that players already have to keep going even if things are difficult and what it's looking like on yeah, Monday night? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the way support are always more vocal. That's, you know, any club that I've been at, it's always seemed to be that way. To take 3,000, we're probably, probably just the edge. The, the, you know, we'll probably have the most fans there. Um, they'll get right behind the team. And um, we've got to make sure we go and you know give them something to cheer us on about because um, you know they can't help and um, they'll be a big help to us tomorrow night if they get right behind us. It's a different year manager that we're facing than we did in, in the first one. Mm-hmm. Is, is there anything that you've maybe noticed that, that Jim Duffy is it a, a radically different team or is it one no, of the not same? radically different? I mean, they brought the, the lad Bradley in from from Hibs, um, who can play off a striker. They've played four four two. They've played. Four four one one with I say uh, Bradley off a striker. So um, as you know, uh, our preparation to go into you know a number of games, we get reports on them. So um, I don't think there'll be any surprises in on, on how they're going to play, and um, there may be one or two personnel changes from the game on Saturday, but we'll be fully aware of that when we get their team shape.